Alright guys, what is up? My name is Mike Chris. You already know, back on my channel. I just want to give a quick shout out to all the brand new people. 100 of you, I love you all. To those who want to be members of this channel, don't forget. The link is down in the description. If you're interested, I promise you, a lot of exclusive content for members. Alright, and to those who are new to the channel, haven't subscribed. What y'all doing, man? Like, hit that subscribe button. You already know a lot more basketball content coming your way. Just as this series, a lot more picks coming your way. Alright, number 7 for Alaska. Okay, let's just talk about yesterday. Okay? Madami yung nagreklamo bakit daw hindi si Muyang ang kinuha ko for over Santi Santillan. Like, yun nga sabi ko eh. Like, mag-iiba tayo ng picks at some point. But I respect all your opinions, man. Sa comment section natin, sa mga mock draft, uh, yung segment na yun, yung mga episodes na yun, I, I, I appreciate lahat ng nagbibigay ng mga iniisip nila what they think, uh, kung sino dapat yung pick, or if they agree with me, or even if they don't. I appreciate all of you for staying in the comment section because, you know, this is all about discussion and debating at the end of the day, especially this mock draft. Alright, so yesterday, uh, number six, I went with uh, Leonard Santillan para sa Magnolia Hot Shots and a lot of people ask me bakit hindi si Muyang bakit si ganyan but I just felt like you know Leonard Santillan was perfect for replacing Mark Pingris diba I, Leonard Santillan is yung sinasabi ninyo na kailangan nila ng banger guys I, I don't mean this in, in any way na masama pero bisaya nga si Leonard Santillan matibay si Leonard Santillan man. like banggaan ready makipagtiran si Leonard Santillan loko-loko lang talaga off the court pero on the court bro he can hang with the best of them because when he was with Lasal, he was guarding other imports he's ready he played overseas 3x3 banggaan physical sa 3x3 he's ready bro so I'm gonna have to go with Leonard Santillan for Magnolia Hot Shot for the Magnolia Hot Shot 6th pick so that's just that but I respect Lahat ng, lahat ng mga ano ninyo, lahat ng mga opinion ninyo. Alright, but for now, number 7, 7 for Alaska, the Alaska Aces. Alright, let's check first ang ating roster for the Alaska Aces led by Coach Jeffrey Carriaso. We have Robbie Herndon, Abu Tratter, Michael De Gregorio, Kevin Ebonia, Jeron Teng, Maverick Hanmisi. JC Marcelino, Vic Manuel, Ray Publico, JV Casher, Kevin Rakal, and Rodney Brondial. Alright, looking at this, okay? Wala na si Sunny Thos, but wala si Sunny Thos dito. I don't know, but wala si Sunny Thos uh, lineup na to. This is on Wikipedia. I don't know why Sunny Thos isn't here. But, dun mang gagaling. Ay, Vic Manuel nandito? Ayun, nandito pa si Vic Manuel. Okay. Um, dun sa Sunny Thos mang gagaling yung pick ko. Okay? Again, papalala ko lang ulit ha. Hindi to fantasy basketball. So, walang trades. Vic Manuel is still with Alaska as I am making this video. So, don't give me that bullshit na kumuha ka ng pamalit ni Vic Manuel kasi at the end of the day, matitrade naman na si Vic Manuel. No! Ano yung roster ngayon? We're talking about the draft. Kung ano yung roster na yon, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna make a pick based on that. Hindi yung mga trade-trade transactions. That's fantasy basketball. This is now fantasy basketball segment. Okay? Mock draft. Now, with this lineup, alright, it is evident that they do not have a banger down low because they lost Sunny Thos. Lost Sunny Thos was their center for the longest time para sa Alaska. They have an Abu Tratter who is uh, low-key undersized for a center. Rodney Brondial as well. Pero si Rodney Brondial, may tira sa labas yan. He can really stretch the floor. Medyo mas finesse si Rodney Brondial compared to uh, like a th Sunny Thos na talagang kaya makipagbanggaan. So, it's an easy pick, man. They're gonna go for a big man for sure. They got point guards. They got wings. Robbie Herndon has emerged as one of the more, uh, as one of their more reliable guys. So, we gotta go with the big man. And ito na, finally. Guys, alam ko naman ni. Eh. He's one of the best big men in this draft. But based on the teams na pumili ako with Endlex and also with Leonard Santillan sa Magnolia, dito, pipiko naman na siya. So, okay, so we got former, former, hindi naman former kasi reigning, reigning NCAA champion Larry Muyang, which by the way, okay, is perfect for this team because they need a banger. They need someone who can control the paint. Sobrang solid to si Larry Muyang, man. Especially because Sunny Thos nga, kumbaga, the void the Sunny Thos left, na yung center position ng Alaska, hindi pa talaga na-fill na talagang yun yung next Sunny Thos. So, I'm thinking, Larry Muyang is just, you know, like, kumbaga, 
the shoe fits for a Larry Moyam because yeah, he has a 15 foot jumper, he has a 17 foot jumper, he can bang down low, he can defend, just like a Sunny Thos man. Mas misti lang si Sunny Thos, pero like pareho lang yun. <laughs> I believe pareho lang yun. And Larry Muyang just won a championship. Larry Muyang just played for the San Juan Knights, so he is just ready, like physically and mentally ready for the league. He may not be kumbaga wala pa siya sa full potential obviously entering the league. He's gonna have a lot to learn from Vic Manuel, Sunny Thos even I'm sure nandun pa rin siya for for guidance. Diba? But yun nga, with all the vets around him, he's gonna get better. Larry Muyang is gonna get better, and he's gonna be one of the most reliable bigs in the PBA for years to come. And again, like what I said, he led the NCAA in field goal percentage for like two years straight. So alam mo that the paint sure bold dun si Sanitos. So I'm sure sina Jeron Teng, sina Kevin Rakal when he comes back, and of course sina Robbie Earned on J. Muyang. Kasi sure ball talaga sa ilalim si Larry Muyang. Especially if he gets the feel of the physicality and of course the pace of the PBA game. So, Larry Muyang for sure for Alaska, man. He's gonna look good in an Alaska jersey. I'm sure Coach Jeffrey Carriasa would love to have a solid big man like Larry Muyang. Alright, strengths and weaknesses. Strengths, he's just a big boy. Like, he's a big boy. He's gonna bang down low. He's not afraid to go up against imports. Again, guys, Letran played with no import last season. And they won the chip. Larry Muyang was a big part of that. Kasi he would be the one to really guard the Mike Harry Zuzus, the Clement Luchus, rest in peace my guy, um, the the Donald Tanquas, siya yung bumabantay ng mga import para sa Letran last year. So you know that he can mix it up with even the biggest guys and really, you know, ibang imports. Hopefully he can mix it up with the PBA imports kasi ibang level yun. But, you know, in time, for sure, he's gonna get that experience and he's gonna learn the ropes in the PBA, especially with the guidance again by the of the vets ng Alaska. And I think Daniel Defonso is there pa ba? Daniel Defonso ba nasa Alaska pa? Ando pa ba? If he is... Then look at that, Daniel Defonso and Larry Muyang. That's a perfect match, man. I'm so excited for Larry Muyang if they do make this pick, or if hindi siya nga pick in the first six picks. I think Alaska will will have to take a look at Larry Muyang. And uh, let's see um, weaknesses. He's not as fast as Leonard Santillan, and he's not as quick as Benedict Adamos. But he runs the floor. He low key runs the floor, man. I've seen him play like he runs quick seal ganon. So you know, there's really nothing about Larry Muyang's game na hindi mai improve lalo. Yung jump shot niya magiging mas effective, magiging mas efficient. Tapos yung roll to the basket niya okay din naman. So siguro yung talon lang niya. Like he doesn't have the highest leaping ability for a big man in the PBA. Pero laban yun man. Like lalaban yun. Larry Muyang is gonna find the way as he did with Letran against the bigger guys. So I'm just yeah. You know, that's that's an easy pick for now. Really. Larry Muya. Tomorrow, medyo may rapan tayo. But Alaska needs a big man. Alaska needs a center. Alaska needs a banger. Alaska needs toughness. And Larry Muyang is your guy. Reigning champion in the NCAA. Congratulations, Larry Muyang, for being our seventh pick. Maka congratulations. Kala mo big deal yung ginagawa ko, di ba? Para dito sa Mikey's Mock Draft. Alright? Alright. Okay, so guys, stay on the comments section if you agree with me. If you don't agree with me, it's all good, man. This is all for debating. This is all for discussions. So, again, enjoy ako interacting with you guys and engaging with you guys. You already know, man. I really read your comments and I really put them into heart. Na talagang, kung may point naman kayo, makikilig naman ako, eh. alam nyo naman yun eh. But, you know, it's okay to have different beliefs. We're not toxic out here. Alright? So, dun sa mga toxic, tuloy nyo lang yan kasi may Sabado kayo. Pita kayo pag Sabado, alam nyo yan. <laughs> Alright, so there you have it. Again, shout out to all my brand new people. The link is, da link is down in the description for those interested in joining the community it's crazy man a lot of hoop junkies and a lot of off the court shit that we talk about all right i appreciate all of you to those who haven't subscribed just subscribe man. a lot more basketball content coming your way all right so this has been mike reyes take care of yourselves take care of each other peace and love and i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow for our eighth pick here on mikey's mock draft